Hello there, my name is Azad, and the chances are really high if you're watching this webpage and you're interested in this Express.js course on Udemy that you either heard about Node.js or about the mean stack, which is MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node.js. So Node.js is this amazing, just brilliant, very performant platform that enables us to use JavaScript on the server. That's right. Now we can use JavaScript not just on the browser, but on the server as well. And with MongoDB, we can leverage that on the database via MongoDB's JavaScript interface. This is sometimes called full-stack JavaScript or isomorphic or universal JavaScript. So with Node.js being so good at the performance and uh, enabling to use JavaScript, it's not a framework. So that is a problem because we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We don't want to solve a lot of those small, tiny problems, for example, parsing of the incoming request body or incoming URL parameters or a query stream or outputting the response with the proper headers. Another example is the code organization. Where would I put my routes? How I would create those routes for different endpoints? How would I use templating engines if uh, I'm building a traditional web application instead of a RESTful API? So all those questions are up for grabs. And for many years, Node.js developers were using Express.js to solve this and many other problems. Express.js is probably the most popular, the most mature, the most trustworthy Node.js framework out there. It's used by small companies and large enterprises. In addition to Express.js being this very configurable framework, there are a lot of modules, hundreds and hundreds of modules or plugins or middleware that you can use and configure your own server even more so. Things like parsing of the request bodies, things like validation, authentication, all that is enabled by the plugins, even access to the database and sessions. So what will you take from this course? This course is broken into two parts, lectures and the practicum. The practicum is based on my tool that I've built. It's called ExpressWorks. It's an automated workshop. It gives you problems. You come up with solutions and you run the tester to validate them. And after you verify it, you can proceed to the next step. This way, you're not just watching some boring videos. You're actually coding. 50% of coding, 50% of videos, watching the videos. And then also I have solutions for the practical. So after you've solved the problem and verified it, it's interesting to see the official solution via the video as well. So this is a very effective format. I've, I've tested it during the live trainings, during other online courses. It works really, really good. Now, after this course, you would be more confident in developing your own RESTful APIs. You understand how middleware works, what are some of the most popular and probably the best middleware out there. You would also get the big picture overview of how Express fits into the mean stack or if you use React or Backbone, any other single page front-end framework or application. So join me on this journey of mastering Express.js some of my books that I wrote, this is probably the first book on Express.js and uh, it's pretty thick. It's uh, version three. This is the latest book on Express. It's probably the biggest book, 350 pages. It's, version, it's using version four. Here's another small book, Express API reference. It's a good reference on the table. I also authored among other books. The new book is Come and React Quickly and Full Stack JavaScript. So definitely I have the expertise. I want to share that with you. I want you to master Express and build beautiful RESTful APIs. If you're interested in the more beginner Node.js and MongoDB course, take a look at Node Zero to Hero here on Udemy. If you're interested in more advanced MongoDB and uh, Object Document Mapper Mongoose course, take a look at Mongoose course here on Udemy. Thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you inside in the lectures and the practical. Have a great day.